In this video, we're going to talk about the three things that you can do starting today in your coaching business that will allow you to manage your own social media like a pro, even if you work a full-time job. I'm Michelle and I am a visibility marketing coach and I work with women coaches who are passionate about their coaching but struggle to get paying clients. I help them to get seen, get her so that they can get paying clients and turn this passion for coaching into a profitable business. If you're watching this video, chances are you're someone who's trying to build your online coaching business but you're not seeing the result that you want because you simply don't have time to hang out on social media. Even though that you recognize that social media online presence is such a powerful and important way to reach out to more audience, but you just don't have the time to do it. And I totally get it because when I was building my coaching business, that's exactly where I was. I was working a full-time job and I'm trying to build this business and I'm trying to get all these different places. And I remember I was taking modules and training classes and all these courses that I signed up and they all eat up your time. So if you're someone who's already gotten a busy schedule, it's really hard to actually show up and create content. It's not that you don't want to show up and it's not even the fact that you have this fear or imposter syndrome, it's the fact that you don't know how to juggle among all your busy schedule and actually make it a full-time business instead of just a hobby or a side hustle. If that is how you're feeling and what you're struggling with, today I'm going to help you to solve that. When I started out my coaching business, that's exactly what I did. I had a full-time job and I'm trying to get this going. And so one of the first thing that I did was I realized that I don't like attending network and I don't like going in-person meeting. And a lot of time you just feel so exhausted. By the time you come home, it's like a long day of work. And that was not something that I really feel passionate about. So what I did was I created an online business that's a hundred percent remote. And I can just simply focus on using social media or leveraging social media. There are three things I learned on using social media for my online coaching business. Number one is you need to set up a priority and plan ahead. I cannot stress enough about the priority and planning. I love paper planning and also uh, digital planning, project management too. One of my favorite project management too is actually Notion. I have a couple of videos on this channel that talk about how do you use Notion to organize your content. I would highly suggest and I will link it down in the description box below so that you can go and check them out how I use Notion to organize all my content. So first you need to set, sit yourself down and actually set up a priority in terms of what do you want your social media to do for you. You want to create awareness, you want people to know about your business, you want to uh, talk about your offer, you want to build your audience. There is a lot of different direction that you need to focus on in order for your online business to be successful and continue to bring in traffic into your business. So sit down and make that a priority. I hear coaches and talking about, I am not getting the right client. I'm not attracting any clients. Well, first of all, if you're not out there, there's nobody going to know about your business and how can you possibly attract any clients at all? So you need to start making social media and content creation as well one of your priority in your business so you can learn the marketing skills so that you can bring more people into your business and therefore when you do have an offer people are more likely to sign up and join you so making it part of your routine and part of your priorities is going to help you to ground yourself so that you know exactly when you need to focus on creating content when do you need to focus on writing a blog when do you need to focus on actually scheduling some posts Without the plan and priority, you're probably going to feel like you're constantly chasing the wheel and going after one post and another, and which makes content creation a very tedious task and it's not going to be enjoyable. So in order for it to be more enjoyable and actually make it a fun exercise and activity for you in your business, we need to sit down and prioritize and plan. So that's my tip number one. Tip number two is 
start using some of the automation tools such as later plan that and i'm going to link a couple of them in the description box down below so you can go check them out full disclosure some of them i have affiliate links so when you click on the affiliate link i get a little tiny small percentage of the incentive when you become a subscriber but there are other automation that's out there personally my current favorite is metrical i've been in metrical since last year and i really like the app it's easy easy to use and you can always add on a member when you're ready to outsource in the future. So Metrical is definitely one of the many scheduling app that I would recommend. Metrical also support various different platforms. So no matter which platform you decide to be on, you can always use Metrical to help you to organize and, and schedule your posts ahead of time. The third tips I have for you is to actually dedicate a batch time. What I have learned with my busy full-time job is that I realized I could not be on social media all the time. And there's going to be days where I'm completely off the social media and I want my social media to still function even without my existence. So what I do is I look at my weekly schedule and plan out the day that I am available to batch create all my content on that single day. And then I pop them over to my scheduling app like Metrical so that I can plan it ahead for a week, a two weeks, or even up to a month of content without me being physically there. So those are the three tips that I have. If you are working a full-time job and you're trying to build a full-time coaching business, but you find yourself feeling overwhelmed by the social media content that you have to create, and you're feeling like you're constantly on a hamster wheel, running around for no reason, and you're not seeing any bankable results for paying clients. So you find yourself doing a lot of free work. And you can't really have a business unless you start having paying clients. But at the same time, how do I actually manage this social media problem? The truth of the matter is that a lot of time when you sit down, you're just drawing a complete blank and you have no idea of what to write. And so that in itself is creating a lot of feelings and energies and struggle and resistance and all the things that piles up and that makes a content creation is such a painful act. You might be asking, well, okay, so Michelle, how exactly do I solve this? Because you see, you're not having a social media managing problem. You're having a content creation problem. So if there's a way for you to make content creation something that's fun, enjoyable, and it's easy for you to do, and it doesn't take you the whole entire freaking day to actually put down a single word or piece of content out there, then your life as a coach is just going to be so much easier. Now, in order to solve that problem, this is the reason why I put together a visibility marketing bootcamp. Inside this bootcamp, I'm going to take you to step number one in figuring out exactly what to say and how to say it and creating that system and plan so that content creation becomes something that's fun, enjoyable, and that you can just put it out in one single day and batch all your social media content or your entire week of videos and blog posts. It's going to be so much easier. Marketing can be so much easier and fun if you learn the right skills to begin with. So join me in the Visibility Marketing Bootcamp. I'm going to share the link in the description box down below. We begin on Monday, so I would love to see you there. But to get you started, those are the three tips that I have shared with you today. Number one is to make content creation a priority in your coaching business that is going to allow you to leverage your social media, reach out to more audience so that you can consistently bring in more leads, which will turn into your paying clients. Tip number two is to start leveraging and using some of the automation tool like Metrical, Plan That, Later, Hootsuite. All these are great tools to help you to buy more time so you can actually focus on something that you're passionate about. Tip number three is to dedicate a, a day of your week to make it a content creation day. I call it a batch day. You batch all your content in that single one day or you can spread it out two days if you like. I would pick a day where you do nothing else and that would be your only task to do. I'm also going to link a couple of videos 
that you might want to check out how I use Notion, the app to help me to organize all my content so I don't have to be on social media all the time. And again, if you're someone who's struggling to know exactly what to say and how to put these work together so that your content creation can be something that's more enjoyable, then join me in the Visibility Marketing Bootcamp. Let's make marketing the easiest part of your coaching business. Us, it's in the air, and I see the magic.